This short tutorial explains what the SEMA Data Co-op Shopify e-commerce plugin tool does and instructions on installing and using it to easily upload and manage data on your website, all powered directly from the SDC data repository. First, the Shopify plugin services the front end of your website, the part your customers inter interact with. It creates all the display features, including the catalog search tool, the category tree. The second piece of the plugin services the back end of the site. This allows you to upload data directly from the SDC database. Through a series of steps, you set the parameters for the brands, the data, and then you import that to your catalog. Before starting, a few things to review to make sure this is the right tool for you. First, your site needs to be built on the Shopify platform. This will not work for other platforms. And secondly, you need to be a member of the SDC and have requested and received approval on brand data that you will be importing. Other important items to note is you determine if this plugin is the right solution for your website. First, the plugin is designed to provide data from the SDC directly to your website. It is not built to import data from other sources. Secondly, the front end view is not customizable. Its design is intentional and it simply provides all of the necessary tools for a cus customer to drill down to a part number. The plugin manages your catalog and your fitment data. Inventory needs to be managed through your WD and another third party plugin solution. SDC doesn't maintain inventory in our PIM, therefore we cannot provide that information. Now SDC does have pricing for some suppliers, so it's dependent on what they choose to manage in our system. The plugin is designed to look for a retail price and if it's available, it will upload to your site. Cost, discount, markups, uh, will all need to be managed outside of the plugin. The SDC PIM does not automatically push data to your catalog. You call the data to your catalog through the plugin. We do not push the data to your catalog. So if you're looking for customizations, this is probably not the right solution for you, and we'd encourage you to look into our SDC Content on Demand API library. These are fully customizable and there's over 20 data calls available depending on how you would like your site to perform. These are also free to members and will require a skilled developer. And those APIs are not platform specific. Okay, let's proceed with what the plugin does. The first step is to log into your Shopify admin, go to the apps on the left hand nav and find the SEMA API app. Then click Install Unlisted App, the button at the bottom. After installation, you'll see the SEMA API app on your app page. Click it. Next, determine where you want the catalog search feature to reside. Selecting Automatic will replace your current collection page, basically adding the search to the existing page. This is the recommended setup. This does not change your storefront theme or the collection template liquid file that all stays the same. If you have a lot of customizations on your collection page, select the manual option, and this will create a new catalog page that you can add to your navigation bar manually. Here's where you establish your website connection to the SDC. First, use your PIMS login and password to generate a secure token that will allow us to transfer data to your website. This will only need done once. Next, enter the brand ID that's the AAIA four-digit brand ID that you wish to upload. You may revisit this field as often as needed to bring additional brands onto your site. Simply separate each brand ID with a comma or a space to upload others. Mandatory update controls whether you want to append uh, new items to your catalog or if you want to completely refresh it. Click the box to perform a complete refresh. Last, if you want to change the setting on the catalog search from automatic to manual, simply click here to make that change. Once completed, click the Save Changes button at the bottom. Now let's get some data importing to the catalog. Stay in Settings, and this time at the top, click Data Import. Here you'll see the brands that are listed. Go over to Settings on the far right. Now select the categories that you want to import. 
For this example, I'm selecting just one category. Then click Save. Once you click Save, the plugin is communicating with the SDC database. Go back to the Data Import Landing screen and click Import at the right. Once we click Import, the data is loading to your catalog. It's going to take between one to three seconds per part, so this may require some patience. The plugin loads 10 parts at a time and notifies you if there's an issue in a part number, causing it not to load. In this example, are all parts load without issue? Three things will cause a part to not import. If there's no title or image, or if the image is in an unsupported format. Only JPEG, GIF, and PNG will import. Now you can see the 13 parts that have been loaded. Let's take a look at the SEMA demo front end. Here you will see the brand loaded with the available content. Other product details such as price or available inventory can be managed manually through the product tab on the left hand nav. While we're in products, let's look at how the vehicle fitment gets stored. Shopify restricts us to populating fitment into tags. You can see the tags here toward the bottom right. You can add and modify these as needed. Also, notice that the description field is pre-formatted with bullets and bold text by the plugin, so this displays nicely on your page. Here is a look at how the catalog search functions on the front end of the website using the vehicle fitment that is stored in tags. Lastly, let's look at the Shopify menu. Shopify does not allow apps to manage menus, so this is a step that you'll need to manage manually. Go to your online store on the left-hand nav, go into Navigation, then Main Menu. Here you can add to the top menu both categories and subcategories. There's a Shopify limitation of three menu tiers, so make sure you group or describe them wisely. To add categories, choose a collection link and drag to your menu. Remember at the first of the plugin setup when we selected either automatic or manual? If you chose manual, you'll also need to add the catalog search page to your menu. Do this by going to the left-hand nav pages and select the catalog search page. Okay, it's that quick and easy to get your website set up with a fully integrated process to upload SDC content and have a fully functioning front end. So as a quick review, access the plugin at demo.semadatacoop.org. And if this isn't the right fit, see our many other options for content on demand through our other API documentation. Thanks for watching.